And then it is time for the main event. Jack Perry and the Young Bucks and Kazuchika Okada versus Brian Danielson and FTR and Darby Allen in Anarchy in the Arena, or as I termed it online, Eternity in the Arena. This thing went forever, and it was very hot for like the first half. And then well, it was it very hot because it's Anarchy going. in the Arena, and so Anarchy in the Arena always has a musical uh, component to it. So first, you know, the uh, I think it was the uh, heels came out, and the babyface just attacked them. And the fans are screaming at the referee, ring the bell, you fucking idiot, because the ref hasn't rung the bell yet, but it's because they haven't hit Darby's music. So they hit Darby's music, and the very first thing that happens is Darby starts sprinting down the ramp, but then he starts limping because his foot's not healed. So I think he, he got a little too excited. But they, they start playing his music for a while, and I thought, okay, well, this is the one where Darby's music will play. For, for 30 minutes. For 15 minutes. Yeah. So it plays for a while, and then Matt Jackson says, cut that shit off! Let's play a real theme song. And so they start playing the Bucks music. And so there's just this depressing, droning song as, as this brawl's going on. And then Brian Danielson grabs the mic and he goes, Shut this shit off. Let's play the best fucking theme in the history of wrestling. And they start hitting the final countdown. And dude, I have no idea why they didn't play this entire match. This fucking crowd... When they hit the final countdown, and these dudes are brawling all over the place, and Darby climbs up onto this big fucking thing. I actually got goosebumps. Look at that. You do. From thinking about Look this. Look at the rock. You do. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they fucking, they're brawling all over the place, and Darby climbs up onto this big thing, and they finally get to the part where all the fans can sing final countdown at the same time, and right when they hit that crescendo, Darby does this fucking, it was perfectly timed, and like this crowd is like in a riot. They're going crazy. They're all on their feet. They're screaming. They're like throwing shit. There's beach balls flying. They're singing the song. These dudes are pounding on each other. I'm like, man, this, this show's too long, but like, this is fucking awesome. And so for about five minutes, they play Final Countdown. And then finally, one of the Bucks goes, shut this goddamn music off. And they shut the music off. And it was like, oh, man. Well, his exact, it was Matthew. His exact words were, shut this off. We have a budget. Yes. Which may be the reason they played it one time. It actually might have been. Yeah. But I was so sad because then it was, it was just a match. And it was fine. It, it was. What the, we could see. The, the, the had, they had about 15 minutes of crazy stuff stretched out over 30 minutes. And once, once the music stopped, the, the mood changed entirely. Yeah. Uh, when the music was playing, it was unbelievable. And uh, like I always knew it was a great song, but having been there and watching this fight for it, that may actually be the greatest wrestling theme song hey, of all time. Hey, dude. Strong, especially because... If you listen to it, the, the, when, before the opening doo -doo 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 starts, there's, there's first is like a low rumbling, and then the boom, and it rises, and most fans didn't know what the hell it was. No, they didn't know at the beginning. They have not heard, listened to Europe in 20 years. And then the, the keyboards hit, like, oh my God, it's Final Countdown, and they all go crazy, and everyone's singing along, and everyone knows the words, and it's all great stuff, and, uh, and then it ended. So they're brawling here, and they're brawling there. Jack Perry and Darby disappear outside. And I, was well, I should talk about this because I got a. Well, I don't have a scoop really, but they are outside and there's a thing. It's like a big pile of shit. Not actual shit. We are in Vegas, so I should uh, clarify. It's like wooden boxes and stuff. And I thought, what the fuck is Darby gonna do? There's a giant pile of wood. Like, what's he? Gonna, is he gonna fall off the fucking MGM? So then they cut back to the building. So we don't know what's going on. And there's like brawling and everyone's kind of hitting each other or whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on in the parking lot? Like they were setting something up, but we don't know what's going on. They had a, at one point they put four screens up like the Brian and Vinny show mm. or something more famous than that. But anyway, you can see, but they don't show outside. And so all of a sudden they fucking on the big screen cut outside. And all you see for a split second is this vehicle smash into the side of something and everything like explodes or whatever. And the cameraman runs over and he looks inside and, and Jack Perry's, he's dead. And then they cut back and they're just like brawling again. Yeah. Now Jack like, Perry was killed in a car wreck and the fight just continued. I was like, what the fuck happened? Was he, did he run into Darby? Did Darby like, you know, so I went on Twitter and I said, everybody at home, what in the fuck just happened? We're in the building and we don't know what happened. And the answer was 
No one knows what happened. Excellent. We saw exactly what you saw. They just cut backstage. He ran, and like I guess the announcers thought maybe he ran over Darby, but killed himself in the process. Like nobody even knows. Hey, and then wrong. Darby got back first. Darby got back first. So they do a bunch more stuff, and uh, of course, uh, Dynamite ended with Darby and the Flamethrower. So clearly, there's going to be a fire spot in this match somewhere. Yes. And uh, the next time we see Jack, first of all, not only is he alive, but he's acting and carrying himself perfectly fine and healthy. He's he was limping a little bit. Recovered nicely from this lethal car accident. He's also head to toe covered in gel. Yeah, I was like, why is this fucking guy so wet? I don't know. And I later figured out, I know why he's all wet. I thought they would do like a light of table, table on fire, put something through it, or maybe... Maybe do like a when uh, in WCW and Vampiro, like they, yeah. they, they have a stunt man. Yeah. Do, they do the burn. But no, Jack Perry himself is covered in gel. And I thought, oh my God. He grabs Tony Khan and uh, we see him carry, drag he, Tony he, like, off. He drags screen. him out to the ramp and then we never see Tony again. So what Jack drags Tony out one entrance way. Darby comes out the other one with a flamethrower. Their paths meet. And Darby sets Jack Perry on fire. I could not believe this spot because this was like, he had a fucking flamethrower, okay? Not like, you know, little match or whatever. Not a lighter. He has a flamethrower and he's fucking blasts Jack Perry's legs with his flamethrower. And and it's not just like for a second and they put him out. It's like he... He's running back and forth with his legs on fire. He's running around and Darby's like shooting him with his thing. And of all people... The Young Bucks are firemen. Sure. They gave the Young Bucks the fucking fire extinguishers. Not like an actual guy that knows what he's doing. Like, they gave the Bucks. And the Bucks are responsible for putting out Jack Perry and the flamethrower. Yeah. So they saved his life. They did literally save his life. Yes. Uh, and you, you can do these stunts. and They're very dangerous. But, yeah, if you don't fire out, he'll burn to death. So, and then they had all of these, like, you guys probably didn't see it at home, but, like, they brought out all of the medical people. There's, like, a dozen and, people to Jack for the next 10 minutes. They're all on the ramp, yeah. and I'm like, I hope that fucking guy didn't get burnt to a crisp. Yep. And he later came back, so he didn't, but that was scary. Dude. I bet it sucked. Yeah. I bet it sucked real bad. I don't know how many times they practiced that or rehearsed it, but, wow, that was a dumb thing to do. They did get the most out of it, as noted, he was out of the match. In fact... It, not only covered in sight, but the, you could see him like they were holding up the towel to block the view, which means maybe they did like pull yeah. his pants down to treat burn wounds. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I hope I hope he's okay. Scary as shit. So we're like 15 minutes into the match at that point. And uh, for the next 15 minutes, basically, the heels have the heat on uh, Darby Allen and company. Yes. And they're most of it's in the ring from that point forward. And they're putting them through tables. There was a moment where uh, Matt Jackson and Dax brawled literally right next to us down the uh, stairs. I was early, but yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, uh, Dax took this bump. Down the stairs. And it, it kind of fell partway down the stairs, but he was not expecting this because you could see. He fell back and there was like a... a handrail. Handrail and bam! He hit the back of his fucking head yeah. so hard. Yeah. That guy looks like he is hurting. I bet he is now. He looks he, like he was wearing long tie tonight for the first time. Yeah. Which uh, probably there's something wrapped uh, wrapped or under there. I, I don't think it's a coincidence. They just happened to wear. I thought it was and a, and a weight belt like a back brace. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, he's hurting. Also, I mean, I wasn't that close. So I was like five feet away or ten feet away, and just the icy hot smell. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot of that going on too. So. The next 15 minutes is the heels grinding with the baby faces. And there's a spot with an exploding chair. Uh, there's spots with spiked shoes. They suspend Darby by his feet. I thought they were going to, maybe they were trying to do it. It didn't work out so well. I thought they were going to do the, uh, the spot with the Briscoe's Ring of Honor, where the uh, Age of the Fall hung him up, upside down while they were bleeding and got blood everywhere. There was not that much, not blood, any blood that I saw. But it's going on and on and on and on. I'm thinking, okay, they're beating him and beating him and beating him. It's gone way too long. It's kind of depressing, honestly, watching the heroes just get beaten this badly so bad. In the end, though, perhaps we will get one of these young men to triumph over evil and it'll be worth it in the end. And it's because more and more clear that's not going to happen. Because Darby's hanging upside down. He can't do a goddamn thing. And uh, it is something FTR. They're exploding chair to take out FTR. And it's like, it's just down to Danielson and, and, uh, and uh, just Danielson in the ring with all four heels. 
And you're like, okay. Is somebody going to run it down and save him? Will be a surprising debut to interfere? And Jack gets a knee strike and pins him. The music plays. The match is over. The Elite have won. And like, okay. So the show is ending with the heels winning the big match. They didn't have any stakes. Nothing on the line. Maybe now a new face will debut to send the crowd home happy. Show ends. Yeah, and you know, on Collision, they had uh, FTR do the Raw Raw promo. I think it actually might have aired on TV. But they were in the ring after the main event, so I thought, my God, we're going to get another FTR Go AEW promo! Yeah. But uh, we did not. No. Although they did find a sign about how awesome wrestling was. They brought that into they the sure ring. They sure love wrestling, yeah. But man, you know, this match is over, and Danielson is on his knees, and he's crying, and I'm like, God, he sold it like he was retiring tonight. That's what I thought. Yeah, the it same was, thing. It was totally like, weird. Like, you're not done tonight, dude, as far as I know. Yeah, and he was sad. And uh, I mean, the, the baby face lost. They should be sad. It'll be interesting to see the follow-up because obviously that was a big win for Jack Perry. So they got to be doing something with Jack. You can't win this match and then just stand there with the young bucks. You would think so not. So they got to do some sort of big follow-up with him. And then, you know, they got to build to Forbidden Door. So they got a lot of names back. But they already have a million names. Yes. So I think that, uh, you know, as usual, it was like, I think a lot of people left. I mean, the main event was sad, but I mean, when we left, it wasn't like when Shawn Michaels lost to The Undertaker and I left the building and everybody was just quiet and depressed. Right, right. I mean, we left and people, people had like, a fun time at the show. Fun and they're chanting things. And but, I mean, they left in a good mood. Yeah. But it was a very somber ending to the show. I just felt like this is a match with nothing on the line. Nothing at stake. Nobody had nobody had anything to gain by winning or lose by losing. There was no, no, no new champion ground. This was the show and the match where suddenly, out of nowhere, you decide we must give a mid card guy a big win over an established name. Well, I think the idea is he's not supposed to be a mid card guy. Like when they brought him back, he was supposed to be a main event guy, hmm. and then they didn't do anything with him. So now he looks like he's a main event guy. So now they got to do something with the guy. But when, when that was over and like they, they played Final Countdown again and nothing's happened, I'm like, okay, now I really, really strongly feel it was. It would have been a better show if Osprey and, and Roderick had gone on the last. Well, yeah, maybe. So, well, Darby's also messed up. Hopefully, he's all right. But uh, I think it. I think the issue is his nose, which was messed up anyway. Like he's got a bad ankle and a bad nose. I think he might have hurt his nose more. Yeah. But I was worried about the upside down spot because you hanging it by his bad foot. You well, not that you yeah. can't hang upside down oh, like that yeah. for like a long period of time because the blood rushes to your head and it pools in your head yeah. and like you can hemorrhage. Like there's all sorts of bad shit that can happen and he was upside down for a long time. Yeah. So hopefully he's all right. And all I heard about was him and Adam Copeland, and I think everybody else is all right. But that was a show with a lot of potentially scary shit happening to a lot of people. Yeah. So uh, catastrophe was narrowly avoided over and over and over again. Yes. Yeah. Now speaking it of catastrophe, it was a good show. It gets a thumbs up. 